Hey guys, here's a fun one, playing against the Vienna. Opponent is rated um, 1387 at the start of the game. And um, we get into the Paulson. I mentioned the Paulson uh, quite a bit recently. And it's uh, it comes from the Vienna Gambit Declined. Okay, so here we have the Vienna, Vienna Gambit Invitation, let's put it that way. They play the Vienna Gambit, you play d5. Okay, they take, you take the pawn. And what I play here currently is knight of three, but everybody seems to be playing the Paulson attack recently. And um, I think we, we had this once in a chess boot camp live training game where Craig and the team were playing against me. I think Craig played c5 here, but the, the move that, that I play is knight c6, right? Um, so I'll take I'll take you through the game and then we'll just have a quick look at the um, at the analysis. So knight takes is, is the most common move, and here you play knight to d4. This looks a bit weird. So you're not recapturing the knight straight away, but the idea is that um, when you recapture, the queen will protect the knight through discovery. Now opponent actually played a misclick here, so we talked about it in the chat and we said let's move back because it's only sporting. Okay, and um, and now he plays, I think, I think the best move, queen c3. So here what you do is you, you capture the knight. Okay, and so our knight is, is in the center. White only has a queen out in the board and we have a knight right in the middle. Okay, so they now push the, the odd looking a3. And um, here I'm having a, a bit of a think, okay. Um, I kind of want to hang on to this pawn and I'm trying to think where is the best how, how best to use my pieces and how best to get developed so I decide on b6 computer doesn't like it um, with the idea of fianchettoing this bishop and not only defending this pawn but potentially also attacking down this diagonal as well so black still has a slight edge and we, we have d3 from white I decide to trade off here opening up this long diagonal and I do then proceed to play bishop b7. They develop their knight. This is clearly a mistake because the point of this move is that I now have two pieces on here. Okay, So it's, it's now at minus two for black after that move. I take with the knight here. Don't know if it's the entirely the best move. They recapture and instead of capturing straight away with the bishop Queen h4 check. And look at white's position. It's absolutely horrible. I have two good bishops. I mean, this guy, although he's still at home, he could come in at any point and control this diagonal. I'm also considering maybe long castles, get the rook onto d8. We have an open d file. So it can all go south really quickly here for white. They play king f1, and out comes my bishop. Okay, so there's a, a serious immediate threat here of queen f2 mate. He has to do something, drops the queen back to e1, right? Queen h3, check. King comes out here, right? Pause at any point and figure out what, what you would play. Uh, queen g2, check is the best move. And notice here that the queen can't block because of my evil bishop here, right? Uh, apart from anything else, it would uh, just hang the rook. So the king now goes to d1, and now the bishop flies in with check. And it's all going horribly wrong now. Bishop blocks. What would you play here? Uh, the computer here says the bishop takes e2 is, is the more accurate. Um, if the king goes here, um, I think maybe then we could castle, but I, I long castle anyway, throwing my rook straight onto d8 with check again. And uh, if, if the queen should block, it's, it's simply um, check, actually checkmate when I capture the, the rook, because the queen would be pinned by, the, by my rook. Um, so the only other option here is, is bishop to d2. It's the only other legal move. Okay, And then I capture here on e2. Queen takes, I win the rook, and we simply just trade down here. Um, 
I capture this pawn and then pin the bishop basically on the rook and I think that's that's the end of the game opponent resigns with two and a half minutes on the clock so there you go um, here we have the review so I'd like to go through this and you know you and I together can just uh, see what could have been done better okay here we have this is all book and black is slightly better at this point take that this is all book Paulson attack is book knight c6 book move that's good uh, very very popular and knight to here and then we we mess around so you can ignore those right but knight out to here queen c3 is the only good move here for white um, I capture best move I'm half a point in front a3 not great and here it doesn't like this at all here it wanted me to bring the bishop straight out to g4 looking down here cutting off some of the king's uh, oxygen supply so it doesn't like that but this is a miss <clears throat> what could they have done same move b3 okay uh, shouldn't have taken there what's it saying is it bishop g4 again no bring out the other bishop interesting stuff yeah it's developing um, but I, I decide to take I didn't really want to lose that pawn so and this is a mistake okay I'm threatening the rook yeah and the rook's obviously trapped computer says queen flying straight out to h4 what happens in this case they push the pawn okay but either way it's not looking it's not a comfortable situation for, for the play with the white pieces so I feel Keto anyway giving white a slight edge this is a miss not good knight takes and this is all just best and uh, that's now a mistake but it's it's just the way that all these checks just keep flying in now right everything is coming with check now and it's already minus 10 in black's favor that's pretty much forced that's an excellent move and uh, there's actually forced to make in eight moves now apparently so there you go says I shouldn't have captured there what should I have done I, I did think about it a bit and I, I thought about this and after king takes you've got maybe then rook d1 rook d8 sorry with check this force is made in in six moves apparently um, so let's just see how that works we play queen f3 check queen can't block obviously so no she has to block wow wow yeah because otherwise king here king c4 is then mate in four after rook d4 check and he really is just getting crushed under the wheels of this so uh, there you go don't be afraid of the paulson attack um we have resources against it so thought you might enjoy that thanks for watching see you later